structured fill parking garages. These are <clears throat> parking structures that fill the container that they're in. Um, so in the last tutorial, we did the structured rectangle, which is defined by a tray count. Here, a structured fill, it simply just fills the entire side with parking. Um, you have a couple of options here. Uh, you can define the location. Um, this is much more helpful if you have uh, liner units turned on. So if I define my location, you can see the um, orange polygon highlighting different areas. I have a few options here, um, but let's say I want my garage to be uh, in these quadrants over here, or actually, I'm going to think about design. Let's say we need units to be on the on these two streets right here. I'm going to pull my garage away. I'm going to click in this bottom corner over here, and it'll only solve with units on these top two edges. Another thing we can do is if we don't want to have liner units turned on, we can just disable them. <clears throat> and it'll solve without having to place it. Um, let's say you think that this garage could be more efficient. It's at 383 square foot average is pretty good, uh, but maybe there's a different axis that we can draw from. So you can click change parking axis. So we're at 397, it's more inefficient. Change again, 383, change again, 405. 383 seems to be the winner and parking efficiency. Um, <clears throat> next thing you can do is to manipulate the ramp. So let's say I want my ramp to be here on this single load instead of on this double load. That'll make it slightly more efficient. So I can click on this grip right here and I can left click drag the ramp. So you can see all the different possibilities of where that ramp can be. So what if we do down here? We're at 378, marginally better. But right here, I know it'll be the most efficient because it's a single load, 359. Pretty efficient garage. Padding works the same as a rec rectangular garage. It's just an additional foot all the way around the edge. In here, we control the amount of parking we have through section with levels above grade and levels below grade. If you have your section turned on, you can see that. See, I'll add the three levels, four levels, many, many levels above grade. Can also add levels below grade. So I'll go down to B1, B2. Tons of parking below grade. Max run works the same way. Draw ball width, same way. Turn radius. <clears throat> I mean, you, you can do it. I don't really recommend it. Um, inside garages, you don't have to do it. <laughs> um, but we can flex that parameter and you can see the fillets for turning, which I mean might be a better level of service inside your garage. Um, in order to reset our ramp location, there's a button right here that says reset ramp. Um, not a big feature, but sometimes your ramp will get lost or it'll fail, fail to be placed uh, and you can click that button, it'll reset it. 